Good morning, this is Mrs Bridge and this is a video for Year 4, Week 12, Art. Learning objective, to learn about Pablo Picasso and his artwork, to recreate his collage style art. Okay, for a starter activity, I would like you to get yourself a piece of paper and a pencil. I'm going to read some clues for three different artists and I want you to pause the video and complete some research to find out who these artists are. Artist number one. He creates a graffiti style art. He uses stencils to recreate his art quickly. He's alive today and works anonymously. Artist number two. He was born in the Netherlands in 1853. He painted some famous sunflowers. In 1889, he admitted himself to hospital because of his mental health issues and during this time painted Starry Night. Artist number three, he was born in 1928 in Pennsylvania. He was a famous artist who created the pop art movement in 1960s. He famously created an image of Campbell's Soup. Artist number one is Banksy. Artist number two is Van Gogh. Artist number three is Warhol. Pablo Picasso. Pablo Picasso was born on the 25th of October, 1881. He was born in Malaga, Spain. Pablo's father was an artist and gave him art lessons. When he was 13, he was admitted to the School of Fine Arts in Barcelona. At 16, he went to Spain's top art school, Madrid's Royal Academy of San Fernando. Pablo Picasso is one of the most famous artists of the 20th century. Why? Because he was brilliant at drawing. People really loved his doodles. What do you think of the drawing above? Look at how he's used colour. How many colours can you see? What objects are in the picture? Cubism. Along with an artist called George Sparrock, Picasso started a new style of art called Cubism. Cubism is a style of art which aims to show objects and people from lots of different angles all at one time. This is done through the use of cubes and other shapes. Here are some examples of, a, of Picasso's cubist paintings. What do you think about each one of these paintings? To begin with, during 1908 and 1912, colour was almost non-existent, except for the use of monochromatic scheme that often included grey, blue and ochre. Instead of an emphasis on colour, cubists spoke on forms like cylinder, sphere and the cone to represent the natural world. Task 1. Compare art. Look at the two pieces of art created by Picasso above and answer the following questions. Number one, what colours are used? Number two, what shapes do you see in his art? Number three, what is the topic of these two paintings? Number four, how are they similar and different? Number five, what do you think about the way he's painted the faces? Number six, how would you describe his art to someone else? Pause the video, get a pencil, and a piece of paper and write your ideas on these six questions. Art with meaning, Guernica. Civil war, a war between people from the same country. One of Picasso's most famous works of art is Guernica, which was painted in 1937. Guernica is a town in Spain. At the time, there was a civil war in Spain. Germany gave support and resources to one of the sides fighting. On the 26th of April 1937, German planes bombed Guernica for two hours. The town was destroyed and hundreds of men, women and children were killed. Picasso was horrified by these events and created this painting. The painting is 3.5 metres tall and 7.8 metres wide. Pause the video and take a careful look at this painting. What can you see in this sad, painting of Guernica. Sadness. 
1937, the Spanish Civil War broke out. The picture shown here is called The Weeping Woman and it was painted in protest to the bombing of a town called Guernica in Spain. The woman is crying, but her face is all mixed up. This is because it is a cubist painting. If you look closely, you can see that Picasso has painted both the front of the woman's face and the side of her face. Picasso was trying to show us what pain and unhappiness looked like. Hope. But Picasso has also painted hope. The woman's right ear has turned into a bird's that is drinking her tears, and there is a pretty flower in her hat showing us that new life is just around the corner. Collage art, creative learning task two. Look at the artwork produced by the children below. Your task is to create a face with different geometric shapes. You should aim to use different mediums, newspaper and magazine cuttings, paint or fabric maybe. Remember the effect you should, should be an unusual looking face using the collage effect overlapping different shapes and mediums. These creations are inspired by Picasso. You can see the children have enjoyed using bright colours, have torn up and cut out different shapes. They have used parts of faces from old magazines. As well as this, some have chosen to add paint to their designs. Remember, this is your own unique design. Remember, you're trying to recreate Picasso. You're not trying to do exactly the same. So you can use whatever resources you have at home available to you. Learning recap. Name three words to describe Pablo Picasso's art. Explain two emotions or feelings that Pablo expressed in his art. If you try to recreate his collage art, what effects and shapes will you use? I hope you've enjoyed this video today. I look forward to seeing you next time.